Hello, hello, my lovelies, and welcome into Speak Life. My name is Mia. Today, we are going to be working with these lovelies, and we're going to be pulling messages out. However, before I get started, I just want to give a special thanks to all of you that have contacted me for a personal reading and have trusted me to do that for you. I also want to say thank you to those of you that um, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I also want to give a special thanks to those of you that comment within the comments to help each other out in this journey. Hello, hello, Sagittarius. Welcome in to Speak Life. We're going to be pulling out some messages for you to see what comes up. Sagittarius, you begin the reading with desk. Pay attention to your work. Okay, so for some of you, you got to be careful. What are you doing? Just pay attention, okay? Because there might be a little tiny fine print that you are not seeing. Bird perched. Waiting for news, a package, or a letter. You also have here dolphin. Financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past. Fruitful. That's what I'm hearing. Fruitful. Shield. You need to defend yourself. Don't be somebody's target. Dogs. Get together with friends. I look at dogs as very loyal. Okay, except when they're, <laughs> never mind. Um, okay, quill, qu quill. Get back to the basics. It is like, for me, that's like going into like with the old fashioned way, way back in the days when things were so easy and simple. Okay, Sagittarius, we're going to see what messages come in for the weekend. Please, universal energies. I don't do reversals, okay? So you got the six of wands. Listen, stepping up victoriously, okay? For those of you that watched <laughs> Games of Thrones, this is Khaleesi stepping up, okay? Um, victoriously to, to, to take over her throne, okay? In pride, rising up in pride. Please, universal energy, spirit guides, ancestors, please bring forward two more messages for Sagittarius. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Okay. Some of you are dealing with somebody that you love. You have here the Queen of Cups. This could be somebody that you... Listen, this could even be you. This could be you... Um, being very loving and caring, very intuitive too. And I'm going to tell you right now, there is, you have here the Ace of Spears, which is um, finding a brand new something that you are extremely passionate about. This could be a new lover. This could also, when I see the Ace of Spears, I also think of somebody who is writing, somebody who is very creative, perhaps writing a book, making a movie, painting for some art gallery and then you have here <clears throat> the nine of cups this is wishes being fulfilled wishes being granted for some of you okay um that's that for me is a very happy card um okay here we go Ooh. all right we're gonna take all the four that kind of flipped over on my hand <clears throat> for somebody here um somebody in the past was was very heartbroken somebody here is or could be potentially heartbroken because somebody moved away because of the truth it was a message that was received and you were out <clears throat> excuse me um so with the three of swords for some of you this was severe heartbreak this was also maybe a betrayal some type of situation that actually ripped your heart out as you were standing okay somebody actually walked away i have a feeling that this is you stepping up victoriously on a path with no intentions to return 
Um, there was something that you got a hold of. For some of you, you got some um, kind of information that came in. This person is maybe coming in very angry as well. So this is maybe some of you finding out some truth because somebody here has been spying on somebody. Okay, and then there's a message that is potentially going to come in that is going to change this equation. Maybe that's why some of you probably found a passionate message and it became clear to you that you, you were in a three-party situation. Saying it as it is. Why is the queen of cups here? Listen, you're loving, caring, very intuitive, okay? You may also be a male, okay? Keep in mind that tarot has no gender, Okay, I thought there was one that was turned over. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Queen of Cups. The Empress. Okay, so somebody here um, may be looking for... Let me tell you something. Some of you, if, if you... Okay, I'm going to be honest. Some of you are loving and caring. However, there is somebody here who may potentially be pregnant unless you are the person that is um, looking toward a brand new money endeavor. So I do see here somebody that could be um, represented as a pregnant woman, some kind of fertility. All right. Uh, why is the ace of spears here? Please universal energies, spirit guides, ancestors. Why is... The Ace of Spears here for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Obviously, I can't take everything. So guess what? I'm only going to take the ones that are looking up at me. Okay? Which is... Okay, so you literally got four here, which we'll go through. Um, the Knight of coins listen there is something here that's taken forever okay this is the slowest night in the entire deck he is somebody that believes that he's got all motherfucking day to get to someone or something okay you also have here the eight of coins which is somebody um this is for some of you this is money coming in maybe it's a long time that you have been having some money come in Four of Cups, not happy with the situation, not happy, okay? And you also have here the Wheel of Fortune, which is for some of you a shift and change, a karmic wheel that is coming into swift, swift, <laughs> to quickly shift your destiny. That's what I wanted to say. Why is the nine of cups here? Listen, you're going to be happy. You know, you just have to let the world, the universe, divinely guide you to where you're supposed to be. Nine of cups, judgment. Somebody here wants to reconcile. Okay, somebody here wants to reconcile. Somebody believes. You may believe that this is your happy. They may believe that this is, you know, whatever the case is. But somebody here is leaving. Okay, and somebody here is definitely heartbroken. And there is some kind of potential child, okay, that could be part of this equation. Just throwing it out there for those of you that are in this situation, okay? Um, let me see. One more card. The wise of judgment here for Sagittarius. Somebody here is looking for forgiveness. There's a card here turned over. However, I'm not going to take that because I think it was already turned over from before. Um, why is the judgment here? Please, universal energies, spirit guides, ancestors. Why is the judgment here? King of Swords. Somebody made a choice. The choice has been made. The choice has been made. I heard that twice, okay? This is a man who has strictly made a decision and is planning to stick by it. So wherever you are in this equation, take whatever resonates with you. Like I said, there's a broken heart here, a potential third-party situation. I do see two women here, one who may be very pregnant. Okay, so listen, take it as it is. 
Thank you so much for being here. I truly hope that this was able to help you and I hope that you did not resonate with this third party situation. Thank you so much and enjoy your weekend.